is Daisy Burke here. I'm just filming an intro to this video. Uh, I already just filmed it. Uh, but people have been requesting, uh, they want to know what I do for working out every day. And so this video is going to show you what I do daily. I'm not, uh, I'm not authorized for anything, uh, but I just kind of wanted to show you what I do Monday through Friday. Um, I do it really quickly, so this video is really quick. Like, I usually, whatever you're going to see, I do like maybe like 10 or 20 reps of whatever you see. So I'm going to do it really quick. I wake up at 4 in the morning, and I, I do as much workout as I can in the morning. And then when I go to work, there are some exercises I do at work because I have bars at work at the laundromat. And so I work out at work when I can. And then when I get home, I'm doing what I am right now. I'm on the exercise bike, my cat, I put a pillow on the handlebars, and then I update my sites and I work out on my exercise bike for a couple hours. And then on the weekends, I do um, my beach jogs or I go for walks and stuff like that. And then if I go out to a club, I like to dance a lot. Uh, follow along because some of the things I couldn't film, I try to film the bulk of it in one, um, one setting, which you'll see. But I also had to film stuff, stay tuned. I had to film stuff at work because there's some things I can't do at home that I do at work because of the bars. I do, we have monkey bars. And so I do things on the monkey bars. And um, there's just some things I filmed outside of this. So stay tuned if you're interested. And like I say, I'm not gonna have good form. I'm doing it really quickly just to show you, like really quickly. Uh, it's not that great of a video, but I just thought it would give you the rundown and everything you can see in this video is what I do Monday through Friday every single day and um, It's not like a Great workout video, but this is what I do. This is what I've been doing for all my life and uh, It's so far so good, but I'm not exactly the pillar of health or I, I'm not a doctor I don't I don't recommend all this I'm just showing you what I do. So anyway, I don't want to take it too long because already the video is long. So keep watching. Stay tuned. Thank you. I'm usually doing this at 4.30 in the morning. And Felix is usually my cat yoga person. But this is in the afternoon. I don't know the names of all this. I'm just going to run through it. That was Frankie. Felix is over there. These are yoga, sun salutations, or whatever. I don't know. I don't know the names of everything. I learned it all from various YouTube and exercise videos. Almost lost my balance there. This is a really good stretch out. At the very least, these first few poses really help. Stretch the back. It releases the pressure in my ears from sinuses. It pops my back. And I remember these as basically 
because I've been doing it all my life and I add different things throughout my life. This I kind of add on my own. I don't know why I do this. Now, what I'm doing right now, you're not going to be able to see, but I'm basically flexing the muscle in my knee because when I hurt my knee a long time ago where the tendons are no longer good, uh, I hurt my, my knee a long time ago. The, the tendons are no longer good. The tendons that hold the knee, the patella in place are basically loose because they lost the elasticity from the injury and I didn't um, do surgery. But one of the things when I did, um, I went for um, physical therapy, they did electrodes to, to physically tighten my muscles. But then once I could, you basically flex and you can't see it. You can't see it, it's invisible. But I'm flexing my knee muscles. And then another thing I do, this leg, I put the foot like at an angle and I'm gonna do this. This is another thing I learned from my physical therapy to strengthen the knee uh, muscles uh, to take the place of my um, tenants that's supposed to keep the knee in place. So I have to like, you know, I have to have strong knee muscles or else my patella will just go wherever it wants to go. And it has gone. If I, if I bump into something, uh, it'll move. If I put on motion, certain way I move, and if I don't do my exercise, it'll move. Okay, let's do the other side. I'm going to do less on this side because this is injured knee. Okay, now I'm going to show you what, what I, I don't know what. I don't know the names of my thing. Just follow along. This is like my arms. I do like 10 or 20 of these. <laughs> I hope you're able to see this. I'm kind of far away. But that helps the arm. I do that. I'm going to rush this along because I've done these already. Now this I basically, I don't know. This is for the inner thighs, I guess. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm basically, I have my knees apart. And I do like... I don't know, 20 reps or whatever of this. And then I take one leg and I lift it. I do 10 or 20 reps of this. Go to the other side. And then on this side, I do like 10 reps of this. And then I switch it over. Ten reps of this. And now ab work. And I got this from an internet video, and I don't know if you could follow along, if you could zoom in, I don't know. But I'm just going to go through it, and I used to do ten reps of everything. But I'm going to go on fast. I usually do this more, but these are all the different moves. Here, I'll try to turn around a little bit because I'm doing the other side down. And like I say, it's like I do like 20 reps of each thing, 10 or 20 reps. This is all what I do in the morning. I'm not an exercise guru, so what you see me doing, is this what I learned from exercise videos, I'm just kind of showing you what I do, that's my ab workout, 
And then, let's kind of add at this end just to strengthen this. And then I kind of wobble my legs like that. Now I'm doing a fast rundown. I do more reps, but I'm doing only a couple of each exercise so you get a gist of it. I'm not a doctor. I don't recommend this. Just someone want to know what I do every day. This is every day, Monday through Friday. And like I said, I do more than just that. Like I do more reps than this. I'm just going through them real quick. This is a good stretch. I love stretching like this. This is how I sleep sometimes. I keep doing more ab work. Now this exercise, I learned from Carol Burnett. Carol Burnett was on some talk show a long time ago when I was a kid. And she says she did this for abs. Ugh. And I do a lot of those. And this is for my grandfather. My grandfather used to do this because he had a bad back. And it does help, especially in the morning, to get all that stiffness out. Okay, now the next one is I'm going to do a back bend. Okay, the other one's from yoga stuff with my mom from a long time ago. And I'm going to go airborne. Hopefully, I, I'm going to have to turn this way. I need more room. And I do a few of these. And then I do high kicks. A lot of those. Okay. I'm going to go down like this. And then I do the hunch over. I don't know what this is called, but it's a yoga. But it does pop the back a lot. And then I do these, which is yoga. It's opposite feet and leg. You balance it. I count to like 10 or 20 or whatever. And I whoop, <laughs> balance the other part and look at the monitor. So I'm losing my balance. Do that. Now these are good for back stuff. This is all yoga poses. that and then I do this I don't know the names of this but it helps especially in the morning after you're sleeping with cats and they steal all your pillows and everything and you're all stiff from your cats oh and then I do I know this is child pose this is child pose that feels really good and then I do it like this kind of back bend Oh, that feels good. Okay, now I do leg lifts or whatever. I do a few of these, like up like that. And then I do a few like this. And then I do the other side like this. And the other side like this. Now I'm going to do modified push-ups. What you call girl push-ups. And I usually like 20 or 30 of these. And then after that, I do, I don't know, this is some kind of plank, but I'll show you. I don't know what it's called. You get in a plank, and then you get up on all, on your hands like this, and you keep going. And then after a while, I reverse um, sides, so that way you get both of your sides equal. Does that make sense? Kind of like a plank thing. And then I walk myself up. And then, I don't know what these are called, but they're good for the back of the legs. Stretch out, just touch your toes. Basically, old school calisthenics. It's probably the most important exercise that you could do. I think so. And I do like, I don't know, 10 or 20 of those. But then I do this. Same thing. I do 10 or 20 of these. Yes, Miss Josephine, I know. You think it's 4 o'clock in the morning, huh? 
I don't know why I always start from first. And then I do, I don't know what this is called. I'm just going to show you. I do tw 10 or 20 of those jumping jacks, but it, you, I'm kind of like in a low position jumping jacks. And now I'm going to do 100. I'm not going to do it now for you, but I usually do 100 of these jumping jacks. Miss Josephine, there's my. She's she's mimicking me. Hi, I see you, Josephine. Okay, I usually do a hundred of those. Then I get this. That's a, I don't know, Suzanne Summers. I guess a thigh. Whatever. It's whatever. And and I do like um, 50 really fast. And then I do 50 really slow. And I actually do two reps of that. I do at least 100 of this. So I'm doing all this. I'm going, okay, I'm doing 100. I do it between fast and slow, fast and slow. And then sometimes I stop and I kind of keep it together. And whatever. Then I take it, the same thing, and now I'm gonna do, and I usually walk around and pace while I'm doing this. I do like 20 reps of that on each side for the biceps. And then I do like 20 reps of this. Which I don't know, maybe it's for here, I don't know. And as I'm doing this, I pace around. And then I do like 20 reps of this. Okay, I do a lot of those. Okay. That's mainly what I do at home. But then when I'm at work, I got some video at work that I done because there's some things I can't do here. Um, but you'll see what I do at work. Now this is what I do at work. Now, okay, I do, I do this, kind of basic for the calves. I'm going to go really fast. Okay, and then I do these. I don't know why. If I saw it on some kind of exercise video. I do a few of these, and then I modify it to this. And then if you change, I change my arms once in a while, and then I do these. <laughs> A few of these <laughs> I do a few of these and then I do this without any weights on them because I don't want big muscles I just want the movement I just want to have my muscles to be to be worked a little bit and then I do that and then I do this a few times 20 reps 20 reps, 20 reps, 20 reps. Everything's about 20 reps. Like that. And then I do the swim thing because I swimming is really good for you. I do 20 reps of that. Then I do 20 reps swimming like this. And then I do the backstroke. <laughs> and then I do some arm um, exercise. I don't know what this is called, but this is like from school, calisthenic school. Like this. And then I do these whirly birds. I do tight whirly birds going in. And then I do tight whirly birds going out. Like I say, I do 10, 20 reps of everything. Depending on what time, and then I do big whirly birds going in, and then I do big whirly birds going out, and then I do these kind of arm exercises for the back of the arms, and then I clasp my arms together. I do a few of these, and then I do these up here, and clasp my arms, do it like that, and then for some reason I just do this, 
And then I do like a squat thing. And then, yes, Miss Josephine. And then I do these different kind of squats. And then as I do this, I, I squeeze my butt. <laughs> Okay, and then I hold on to something, and um, I do the same thing. I, I, I arch my foot like this. This helps my knee. I do a few leg lifts, then side lifts, and this I got from Billy Blanks, I think, a Billy Blanks video. I do something like this, and then I, kick, I do a few kicks back. I do a few kicks on the side, and then I kind of like do them all. Okay, let me do the other side. Okay. <laughs> I feel kind of stupid doing this like really fast, but I don't want this to be a long video because this is what I do in the whole friggin' day. The whole friggin' day. And this, the form is not good because I'm just kind of rushing through it. Okay. Okay, now I did that, and now what I do, I guess I can do it this way. This I learned from uh, some kind of a bar, it was called a bar um, video to do the bar. I, I do this, I do these. You could do, put weights on your feet if you want. And then I do that. And then you kind of angle it. <sighs> this is from a video I think called the bar workout. Bar workout, B-A-R-R. Kind of like, you know, if you're taking a ballet or something. Okay. And like I said, I do more reps and everything when I'm rushing through it. And then I do this, which is good for your inner thigh right here. And I do like 10 or 20 of this. I actually do more on this leg than this leg because I drive, you know, and so I'm always... When you're driving, you're always doing the gas and the brake and the pedal. So you're working this leg a lot. So I kind of work this leg more to compensate. Okay, so I do this. And then another thing they teach you. I usually do this at work because I have bars to hold on to. And then, I don't know. This is another thing they teach you. It's like, I'm not an instructor, so I don't know what I'm doing. And then... You, you hold on to something, you do this, the, the, what do you call the plies. This helps the inner thighs. And then you do outer play, plies. <laughs> and then there's this one thing they do where you do a play, but you wiggle your butt. And it's kind of cool because I could actually really feel it. And this is the next one I made up myself. I wiggle my legs like this and I turn my hands like this just to get the, mu the muscles in my arms working. I kind of made this up myself. And this is kind of a Zumba class thing. You do a dip and I just kind of get loosey-goosey. Okay. And then, and then I kind of stretch like that. Oh, and then what else? Oh yeah, if you have a bar, you kind of like stretch. You do the bar like that. And then another um, exercise I do is, um, like, like for your arms, I go, I box, and I do these like, like 10 times or whatever, or you box in front, and I kind of do a squat, so I get the squat at the same time, and then you hit to the side, and I do like, you know, like 10 or 20 of that, and then I do a roundhouse, I do 10 or 20 of that, like full force, you know, and then you do uppercuts, and I do 10 or 20 of that. And then I kind of do fast uppercuts as I squat at the same time. And then you do the core where you go back and forth. And then I do this, round, 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 round. And then you do this. <laughs> and then you kind of do this. And at the very end, you go. And then for cardler, cardler vascular, when I got extra time, I do um, kind of like burpees, but it's not a burpee. I concentrate on the legs and I go boom, boom. And I do like 10 or 20 of this, or I do a deep squat, 
10 or 20, some, I actually, I actually do 40 sets of this. And then I do 40 sets of where I concentrate on the, on jumping. So you're like this, but you jump high, as hard as you, as high as you can. I concentrate more on the jumping part. And I do like 40 sets of this. Okay. And then another one I'm trying to remember in my head. Oh, I do jumping jacks. I do like 100 of these, but they're not jumping jacks. They're kind of like punch up jumping jacks. I do like 100 of those. And then another one, which I'm going to insert at the end of this video. I don't have bars when I'm at work. I have bars and I do kind of like a, a twist jump, which I'm going to insert in the back of this video. So just stay tuned for that one. And then I do a skate thing and I do this for a long time. I go this, I, I count the minutes. I try to do this for at least, uh, let's see, at least 10 minutes. Try to make more. I do more minutes that I can. And then when I need a break, I do climbing exercises like this. Or I do, and or, I do this. Actually, and, I do that. And then, uh, if there's a music playing or something, I dance and stuff. <laughs> and then another thing I'll do is I'll show you, because uh, you guys need the hallway, because this is what I use. I, I walk down the hallway like this. Now, I usually, yeah, let me get it here so you can hear me. I usually do that down the hallway as much as I can. Um, that's at home, uh, and I do that during the day on, uh, or in the morning. <laughs> I'm a little winded because I'm trying to do this quickly. So uh, I'm going to insert all the video that I've done at work in here so you'll see. And I know that's kind of a rush of my workout because some of it's in the morning and some of it's at work. Um, and then when I get home, I usually go over here and I'm on my computer and I ride my exercise bike. I think you saw, you saw, I have the, I, it's hard for me to, I've always had a bad thing with SHs, I'm sorry. My mom used to make fun of me because I used to say shut up instead of shut up. You saw me a few times. And yes, Felix, I made a pillow on my exercise bike. So after working out in the morning, after working out at um, work, <laughs> the glare, um, I will come home and I'll be on my exercise bike for hours sometimes uh, doing stuff on the computer. But it goes by really quick because I don't really notice it. Like, I'll, I'll stop and start some on the exercise bike. And then on the weekends, I like to do a beach jog or, like, or a walk. I walk in general a lot. But in the weekends, I try to do a beach jog um, on the sand. And I hope I don't forget anything. I'm going to probably film an intro that you're going to see afterwards here. But that is my daily Monday through Friday workout. And... Like I said, I usually do more reps than what you see. I usually do like 10 or 20 reps. Sometimes if I'm in a hurry, you might see it exactly like you've seen today. Like I might just rush through it. Because mainly it's just trying to get loosey-goosey. Because for working out in general, 
I could walk, I could run, I could get it done quickly. But for all those exercises, I just want to get my body loosey-goosey. So that is my workout at from 4 o'clock in the morning until onward. At work, I, I, I fit in whatever I could fit in. Whatever you see, I do every single day, Monday through Friday. I will actually fit it in during the day. But I will try to get most of it done in the morning. And then whatever I can't get done in the morning, I do at work. And then I do my exercise bike uh, when I get home. So, and, and then life is a workout. I try to not sit as much as possible, except weekends are like whatever happens. I don't, I don't, I don't, um, I'm not that strict on the weekends. But anyway, this is going to be a long video, even though I rushed through it. So to all you guys that wanted to know what my daily workout routine, and I'm sorry my form wasn't that great. It's just not. <laughs> It's just, I, I just, I just did it really quick for you guys. And sometimes it's kind of like what I do. If I'm in a hurry, I will rush through it. I'm not a good form person, but everything I learned was from, uh, exercise videos or just, it's, I've been doing this all my life and I've been adding to it all my life. So, um, yeah, I'll let you guys go to all my stays cadets and all my briquettes. I have, hope you have a groovy day. Uh, Keep watching for the rest of the exercise, or maybe I'll, I'll put it in or whatever. Maybe I should say this again. To all my stays cadets and all my briquettes, I hope you have a groovy day. Until next time.